Hi everyone, my name is Fanindra and in this video I am going to explain about HAT medium HAT medium So why this HAT medium is used and for what purpose it is used uh, Each and everything will be explained in detail in this video So watch this video till the end so that you will get a better knowledge about this HAT medium for sure so hat medium is nothing but a selection medium or a screening medium for mammalian cell culture so for the process of the cell mammalian cell culture you are going to take two mammalian cells and you are going to conduct experiment on the two mammalian cells so that you are going to obtain a hybrid cell but not only hybrid cell will be present in that there will be group of cells in that group of cells hybrid cell will be present so that you need to identify hybrid cell from that group of cells so simply you cannot identify it right you need to have a source and that source here is hat medium so by using this hat medium we can uh, you know we can screen the type of cells which are present over here in order to obtain the hybrid cell okay so uh, you know i'm going to explain the total process along with the diagrammatic explanation okay so watch this video till the end you can definitely have a good idea about this hat medium so coming to this hat medium hat it is abbreviated as H in the sense hypoxanthin, A in the sense aminopterin, T in the sense thymidine. So basically these are the bases. So as you can see here, hypoxanthin and thymidine bases can be converted into nucleotides by using an enzyme called as HGPRT and TK. HGPRT is abbreviated as hypoxanthin guanine phosphoribosyl transferase, TK in the sense thymidine kinase which means HGPRT enzyme is used to convert hypoxanthin base into nucleotides whereas in the case of thymidine it will use as thymidine kinase in order to convert it into nucleotides right so basically this process of nucleotide synthesis this process of nucleotide synthesis is called as salvage pathway so as you can see here the finally the synthesis of nucleotides is occurring right which is called as nucleotide synthesis and that process of synthesizing the nucleotides is called as salvage pathway right in the salvage pathway only hypoxanthin and thymidine will be converted into nucleotides by using both of these enzymes but here in the case of aminopterin here it cannot undergo the process of nucleotide synthesis which is de novo pathway because aminopterin here is going to act as an inhibitor so that it cannot uh, you know it cannot undergo the process of de novo pathway but uh, it can undergo the process of salvage pathway only if it is having hypoxanthin or thymidine okay so till now i hope you have got a basic idea about hat medium so now let us uh, understand the experiment which is conducted in order to know about this hat medium in detail so firstly here i am going to take two mammalian cells for my uh, you know for my experiment so i am taking mammalian cells so what are the two mammalian cells which I am taking? Antibody producing B cell and immortal B cell. Right? So by taking both of these cells, I am going to conduct an experiment by using this hat medium so that we can understand why this hat medium is used. Okay. So here these are the two cells. So in order to do the experiment, firstly you have to know the properties of both of these cells, right? So in the case of antibody producing B cell, it is having short lifespan, which means it can easily lead to death within short period of time but in the case of immortal b cells it is having capacity to get divided indefinitely that's the reason i have mentioned here capable of dividing indefinitely and in the case of immortal b cell it is having a mutant of hgprt enzyme as well as antibodies so here as you can see i have mentioned here hgprt enzyme in the sense hypoxanthin guanine phosphorable transferase i have said you but here in the case of immortal b cells it is mutant in form that's the reason I have mentioned here negative, which means HGPRT negative and Ig negative. Ig in the sense it is an antibody. I mean like immunoglobulin, which is the name of the antibody, other name of the antibody. But here the negative symbol indicates that it is a mutant, right? So as it as it is a mutant, it will block the salvage pathway. Okay, it will block the salvage pathway. It will not initiate the nucleotide synthesis of salvage pathway, where it will block that nucleotide synthesis which is a salvage pathway as it is blocking the nucleotide synthesis the new antibodies cannot be produced if the salvage pathway is good and it is initiating then only the antibodies will be produced but here this immortal b cells because of this mutants 
it is blocking the salvage pathway so that the antibodies cannot be released by this immortal b cells but in the case of anti antibody producing b cell here the salvage pathway is not going to be blocked because it is not having any mutant but here immortal b cells will have will have mutant here in the case of antibody producing b cell it is not going to have any mutant so it is not going to block any salvage pathway so it is going to produce antibodies so that's the reason the name has mentioned here antibody producing b cell here the name which i have mentioned is immortal immortal b cell okay because it is having mutant where it cannot produce any antibodies so these are the two important points which you people have to remember is that antibody producing b cell is going to produce antibodies because of absence of mutant but in the case of immortal b cell it is not going to produce any antibody because it is having mutant fine so till now what i have said you you keep it in mind and from now the experiment will be processed so here finally what you people have to remember is that you are going to take two cells which is antibody producing cells which has capacity to produce antibodies and immortal b cell which is not having any capacity to produce the antibodies right so now we are going to take both of the cells and you are going to expose the cells in a chemical and the name of that chemical is peg which is abbreviated as polyethylene glycol so we all of us know that polyethylene glycol is a fusogen which means what what is the function of this peg why this antibody producing b cell as well as immortal b cell should be exposed to this chemical because as it acts as a fusogen there will be fusing of both of the cells because you are going to get a hybrid so in order to get a hybrid what you need to do we need to fuse both antibody producing b cell as well as immortal b cell right so in order to fuse it you need you need to expose them to a chemical called as polyethylene glycol which is a fusogen so let's say as if you can see here in the diagram this blue color uh, you know the liquid which i have mentioned is nothing but peg which is polyethylene glycol okay as we know that it is a fusogen so here we have took two cells for our experiment right so what are the two cells antibody producing b cell and immortal b cell so we are going to take it in as a mixture form in peg which is polyethylene glycol which is a fusogen so here what you are going to do is that now as you are going to expose them to polyethylene glycol then it undergo the process of fusion right so once the fusion is done then we are going to get five types of cells so what are the five what are those five types of cells so listen properly one is unfused b cell and another is fused b cell right so unfused b cell in the sense in the process of fusion it is not going to perform anything it is not going to perform its function it is not going to fused to immortal b cell hence it is called as unfused b cell in the case of fused b cell it is fused but here you need to understand the concept properly fused b cell in the sense here it is fused with immortal b cell but the majority of the occupancy is uh, with the antibody producing b cell that's the reason i have mentioned total the color of antibody producing b cell coming to here here another cell which is formed is unfused immortal b cell here we have took two cells for our experiment where one is b cell as well as the uh i mean you know what antibody producing b cell as well as the immortal b cell so in the case of antibody producing b cells we have obtained two type of cells which is unfused b cell as well as the fused b cell and of coming to the immortal b cells we are going to get again two different types of immortal b cells which is unfused b cell as well as the fused b cell fused immortal b cell right so these are the four different type of cells and what is the other type of cells because i have said you five different type of cells right so what is the other type so this is the one of the most important type which is hybrid cell right so this is the fifth type of cell which is going to be obtained by the process of fusion okay so what are the two cells uh, which undergo the process of fusion antibody producing b cell as well as the immortal b cell so once both of these get fused then this hybrid b cell will obtain the properties of both of the cells right so hence it is called as hybrid cell now we have obtained all of these five types of five types of cells so what are those five types of cells i'm uh, you know unfused b cell fused b cell unfused immortal b cell fused immortal b cell as well as the hybrid cell so you are going to take all of these five types of cells and now you are going to expose them to the hat medium you are going to take it into the hat medium here where the hat medium plays a major and vital role okay so you are going to take all of these types of cells five types of cells into hat medium so 
you are going to take them into hat medium so now what is going to happen in the hat medium so this light pinkish color which i have drawn is known as hat medium so what are the five different types of cells which we have obtained by the fusion unfused b cell fused b cell fused immortal b cell hybrid cell unfused immortal b cell okay so these are the five different type of cells which we have obtained and we have kept them into hat medium so now what is going to happen here as we as we all of us know that unfused b cell as well as the fused b cell that's nothing but the antibody producing b cell so what is the property which i have said you antibody producing b cell will have short life span that's what i have said you previously right so both of these unfused b cell as well as the fused b cell will be killed right it will be killed now coming to the another two cells which is unfused immortal b cell as well as the fused immortal b cell so what is the property which i have said you these immortal b cells are having a mutant so that it cannot perform the salvage pathway in order to produce the antibodies so this is what i have said you in the case of immortal b cells right so as they are not producing any anti any antibodies so unfused immortal b cell as well as fused immortal b cell will also be killed so what is the leftover cell hybrid cell so in this way once if you are going to take all of these five different type of cells in a hat medium so uh, all other cells will be killed except hybrid cells except hybrid cells so now we are going to take that hybrid cell so uh, you know for your purpose so you need to understand what is the major functions of this hybrid cell you know this hybrid cell can survive in hat medium why because it is having properties of both cells which is antibody producing b cell as well as immortal b cell as it is having both the properties it can survive in hat medium so it can divide indefinitely because it is having uh, you know a property of immortal b cell so what is the property of immortal b cell first property itself i have said you right it is cap it is capable of dividing indefinitely so it can divide indefinitely and it can synthesize the nucleotides because it is having the property of antibody producing b cells which is first cell i have said you right it is having it is having the property of synthesis of nucleotides because it is not having any mutant in it that's the reason it can synthesize nucleotides and it can exhibit the property of salvage pathway because it is having the enzyme in it properly which is not mutant that's the reason it can synthesize the nucleotides so what is the main function which i have said you in the hat medium at the beginning itself i have said you right it is mainly used as a selection medium for mammalian cell culture so you took two mammalian cells right and you are going to dip it in the polyethylene glycol in order to perform the process of fusion so once the fusion is done you are going to obtain five different type of cells and these five different type of cells you are going to uh, you know you are going to expose them to the hat medium so in this hat medium the remaining type of cells will be destroyed i mean it will be killed except hybrid cell and that hybrid cell will be obtained right so this is how hat medium is used fine so i hope each and every uh, each and every sentence which i have said you is clear for you and i hope this information is uh, is good and it is having strength in it so thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates and if you still have any doubts regarding this hat medium don't hesitate to comment in the comment section i'm going to clarify your doubts immediately thank you